Welcome to the Quit Vaping Podcast, the podcast designed to make you a non-listener. In this show, I'm not going to scare you away from a life of vaping. What I am going to do is show you just how good your life can be without it. Thank you so much for listening and enjoy the show. What's up and welcome to episode 30 of the Quit Vaping Podcast, guys. All right, so there's been a recent uh, change in kind of how I present the material. As I've been learning and getting better at this, um, things change, right? So that's why we have a podcast and this is why this keeps going every week, right? Um, So I've been trained in life coaching to talk about urges. And an urge is pretty much a vibration in your body, right? It's a compelling vibration, just like an emotion. Remember that emotions are vibrations caused by your thoughts and urges are vibrations caused by your thoughts. But what I want to say today is that actually cravings are probably a more appropriate word than urge for teaching this material because most people, when they quit vaping, they're like, oh, I have cravings, all these cravings. Nobody really calls it an urge. Like, I have an urge to vape. Not really. Even when we're overeating, we think about cravings, right? Not urges. So I think it's important to talk about it like this. And what I want you to know is that a craving for a vape is a emotion. It's a vibration in your body caused by your thinking. And I want you to understand this. So a craving is literally just vibration. And most people have no idea that's what's going on. They overdo it and they get excited about it and it's too big. And this is like, this is why we end up fighting them and not understanding them and reacting to them. So cravings can be learned how to deal with if we learn how to process them. And the beautiful things about cravings and learning how to deal with them is that once we learn how to deal with vaping cravings, we learn how to deal with overeating cravings. We learn how to deal with um, overspending and over gambling and over porning and over over everything <laughs> cravings. So, a lot of people they I have talked about this before. They they quit with willpower, and what that means is you just kind of force yourself to quit. You don't really understand what's going on in your mind or your body, and you just beat yourself up verbally until you stop, you know, vaping altogether. And what happens then is you take the approach of quitting from shame and from deprivation. And what happens when we quit or do anything from shame and deprivation is we end up caving in and then doing the exact thing that we are trying to stop doing because of the shame and deprivation. So whenever we quit something through shame or from beating ourselves up or from depriving ourselves, we're much, much more likely to go right back to it. And as I've talked about a lot in this podcast, my dad's one of my best teachers with this is that that's exactly what he has done over and over and over and over and over again. So what I want to offer is that you don't have to fight your cravings. You can learn how to deal with them in a loving way. And again, I think the last episode I talked about applying versus understanding information, the course that I teach um, on vaping and the model, the self-coaching model that I've been trained to teach you, it's a life coaching tool that's actually going to show you how to do this. And here's what I want to offer too is there's there's like so many so many entities working against you when it comes to quitting vaping because uh, the vaping companies and like everyone around you that still wants to defend nicotine and defend vaping and smoking like they're all going to try to tell you that the urges or the cravings are really strong and they're really not. So one of the large things I do as a life coach to help people believe new things and the reason that you're vaping right now is because you have belief systems in place that have most likely been taught to you by people that want you to vape or smoke or have a nicotine addiction so they can make money off of you. And one of the biggest tools in their arsenal is saying it's really, really hard to quit. And it actually isn't. So I want you to just question that belief today and really considering if you are vaping and you're having cravings and you've tried before and you, you've like blown up and the cravings aren't working and nothing's working for you and you keep going back, it's probably because you're pushing against cravings and probably because you still have beliefs. It's, a, it's one or the other, right? You either have cravings you're not managing properly or you have beliefs that you are not aware of or that you are aware of that you think are true that actually aren't true that are creating desire that you don't need to have at all. So I think I've talked about it before in other episodes too. Desire is ironically like people think that we just have like a natural desire for nicotine and that's simply not true. Desire for nicotine is created by the thoughts and the beliefs that other people insert in your head. And we know this is true because nicotine has absolutely no function for our survival. So if we had a natural desire for nicotine, we would literally like be craving it as babies, which isn't true at all. We start craving it when TV gets into our minds, when the companies that um, advertise gets into our minds, right? So the cravings is actually created by a false desire created by fake beliefs. Um, Things that we have a natural craving for, a natural desire for, like uh, working out, like our bodies, exercise, moving our bodies, things like warmth, shelter, food, sex, not porn necessarily, but sex. Well, those things we do have a natural desire for. You don't need beliefs in your head in English or whatever language you speak. We don't need those things um, or subliminal messaging to desire those things. So 
if you have a craving for nicotine um, and you've been using it, well, that's because you're addicted to it and we don't know how to process our urges properly, right? So that's definitely fixable. And if you have a desire for nicotine, not so much a craving, but an actual desire, it's because you have beliefs in your head that are creating those desires, right? I tell you guys all the time, like, I don't have a desire for nicotine and I'm not lying to you. <laughs> What's so funny is that I was actually lying to myself about creating a desire before I quit. And that's the huge fundamental shift I've made since I've quit vaping. And that is the fundamental shift that you can make as well if you learn how to apply the material I teach. So again, I, I never want to put a paywall behind all of my information. I really think it's important to give this out to you. And if you can quit vaping and actually make it work permanently from this podcast, I'm really happy. You should reach out to me and tell me about it so I can make a testimonial out of you and talk to you and you can share my work. But if you're having trouble still with cravings and desires and quitting permanently and you're still like, well, I get the information, but I still want it. Well, the reason is because you haven't actually learned how to apply it in the course. So that is exactly what I teach. Like, you know, the whole reason that life coaching exists is because self-help books themselves where you learn information aren't enough. Actually applying information is where you get the help. So like even I have a life coach, just so you guys know, <laughs> I'm always buying information. I'm always buying courses, how to apply things. Like I, I have so much access to free information in the coaching world, but it doesn't really make the huge difference in my life. What does is learning how to apply it in a real world setting. So, you know, if you're having trouble, invest in yourself and in, invest in in money and resources in yourself, because that's where ultimately you're going to learn how to manage your cravings, how to manage your urges, how to remove the desire. So when it comes to quitting vaping, it really is a simple process. I'm telling you it's simple. Maybe not so easy because you have to learn how to apply it, but it's simple. Manage your thoughts, manage your emotions, done. That's it. And you know what's so funny is that's the exact same skill set I teach all my clients who are trying to improve their lives on a bunch of different levels. So manage your thoughts, manage your emotions, done. And those skills aren't being taught in school. They're not being taught in college. They're not being taught in the psychiatric world. They are not, I promise you. I've been to all three in a long, a long, long amount, a long, long, long amount of time I've spent in those worlds. And they haven't helped me learn how to critically think and how to feel my emotions. Well, if you want to quit vaping, that's what you do. And the best source that I've ever found, and I've done a lot of research and studying and time in those worlds, the best place I've ever found to learn those skills is life coaching. And that is why I do what I do. I don't think that therapy is bad. I don't think the clinical world's bad. I don't think that high school and college are bad, but I think they don't teach critical thinking. And that's the skill set we need to build if we want to, if we want to change our beliefs, especially ones that we don't actually want anymore, especially ones that aren't serving us. So if you're having problems with cravings, with desire, if you're having trouble actually creating anything in your life, the reason is because of your thoughts and your emotions, I promise you. Only two method. This is what I teach. The only two method is what I teach in my vaping. And you know what's so funny is I teach it to all my clients. Do we go deeper on the tools in one-on-one coaching? Of course I do. But you can totally quit vaping and remove your desire by learning how to apply them in the course that I teach. So this has been a quick episode. It's been a fast episode. I'm really trying to drill the course home to people um, because it's going to change your life. Like, I promise you, <laughs> it's going to change your life on such a big level. So sign up for the course, like spend two and a half hours watching the videos I teach. If you want to do the workbook at the end, do the workbook. I have an ebook attached too, where it's like, here's how to apply the information through stories in my life. So it's just great. Um, you're going to see the ebook, by the way, in a different perspective. Once you learn the self-coaching model and you learned about your, how your brain functions a little bit. So take the course. It's going to help you. It's so good. And thank you for being here today. I know this is a quick episode. I know you guys are used to like more content heavy episodes, but, um, I've done so much content on vaping and, and I really just think the best way to get this information to people now is just by learning how to apply it in the actual course where you will learn how to apply the information. Also, feel free to reach out to me at any time. Um, I would love to hear from you. I am currently working on a, well, I'm, I always do my one-on-one coaching. So if you want to change your life in more of a hands-on way and get one-on-one -on -one coaching, I always offer that. Um, I have a couple slots left open at the moment. And then I also have a group coaching program I'm doing. Um, it might have started by the time this podcast came out, but it's called How to Know What You Want. And what I'm doing is helping people in a group format. We spend an hour every week for 10 weeks, literally moving forward on how to figure out what it is they want with their lives. And a big part of the way I do that is by teaching um, the similar tools I teach in this podcast, but we take it to the next level and a whole different level. So uh, yes, if you want to change your life, start here, start with the podcast, learn how to apply it with the course, and then um, I'll keep moving you forward. And as you learn about my resources and you keep taking them and, and signing up for them and getting... Uh, you know, associating yourself with them, you will be on the customer journey that I hope you will be on. I've been planning this out for a long time. And I just want to tell you guys, so the customer journey that I have set for you, my lovely listener, is 
that you don't really know anything about life coaching, you happen to search this podcast because you want to quit vaping and it's searchable. And then what I do is I kind of like sneak life coaching tools into your life while helping you get off nicotine. And then what I want, because you've learned these tools and applied them, is that you realize that actually whatever you want in life is indeed possible. So then I want to help you figure out what it is that you want, how to define those things, and then I want to help you go after them. And then the last stage for a lot of my clients, I think will eventually be owning a business of some kind and creating the kind of income they want, doing something very meaningful. So the whole customer journey I have currently, and you guys can like reach out and let me know what you think about this, is enter life coaching through the vaping portal, quit vaping, decide what you want, move forward, hopefully earn income doing something meaningful, and then giving back to the world in the most meaningful way you can, because in order to help the world, it's really, really helpful to get rich. <laughs> so you guys, thank you so much for being here. This has been a very quick episode. It's been a very potent episode. Check out the course. You're right along on my journey, and it will help you tremendously. And if for any reason you're not happy with anything, you reach out to me directly, because I want to make it right, and I want you to be like... Everyone that I that I have come into my products that they pay for, I want them to be a stellar testimonial. And if for some reason that doesn't happen, I want to find out why and make it right in whatever way I can. So have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye. What's up, guys? I hope you're enjoying the show and that each episode is bringing you one step closer to becoming a non-listener. If you'd like to take all this information to the next level and finally quit vaping for good, you can check out the course link in my bio. Have a great day. See you next week.